everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin' and I'm back with another flower tutorial. Sorry guys, it's been so long since I've done one. I've just been so busy and I know I've been getting a lot of requests to get some more flower tutorials out there or tutorials on homemade items or whatever and I've just been so busy so I've just been trying to make some inventory um, to sell some flowers on my new website called lovelyscrappin.com and um, yeah, so I've been really busy trying to get the flowers made, so I have some stuff to sell on that. And I'm still working on the website, so hang in there for the big announcement of my store opening up. Um, so anyway, I was making some flowers like this. I kind of came up with uh, this design when I was playing around with my brand new Tim Holtz Alterations die. The uh, um, tatter florals. My husband got me this for my birthday. He's so kind. So it's new to me. I know it's been out there for a long time. So there's probably flower tutorials similar to this already. But anyway, I was playing with it because I really wanted to make a flower with it. So I used some uh, thick satin and I did um, five die cuts of this one and one of this one. So you're going to need five of the material of your choice. I again use satin. You want to make sure it's a synthetic material because you want it to melt and not burn. So um, and then one of this and you're also going to need a one and a half inch or two inch approximately um, size felt flower, um, circle, sorry. Um, a lighter match or barbecue lighter or whatever and a candle. And center of your choice I'm going to use the Recollections uh, Boutique Fleur embellishments. Oh, I love these so much, but I got the last two that were on clearance at Michael's and I can't find them anywhere now. So if anybody knows where I can buy these for a decent price, please let me know because I want more. I love them. Um, you're going to need a hot glue gun. And make sure you have a fire extinguisher or a big tub of water nearby because you are working with open flame and you don't want to you know, burn down your home or anything. So you just want to be safe and have um, that nearby just in case. So let's get started, you guys. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, melt the edges of all of your flowers. So you're just going to light up your candle. And I love using the tea light candle um, just because it's it's nice and small and flat and whatnot. So, um, so all you're going to do is take your um, piece of satin flower, have the shiny side up, so that part's down, and you're just going to take um, each you can fold these in so you protect them from melting or you can keep them out, whichever you want, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And you're just going to lightly make sure you keep a good distance. I keep about an inch distance from the flame and just lightly let it hit that hot spot of the flame. And what happens is it curls nicely like that. Okay, so you're going to want to do that to each petal. I'll just show you another one. Just be very careful that you don't melt it too much. But um, just keep playing with it until you get the desired look that you like. There you go. So if you kind of touch the hot spot of the flame directly in the center of the petal, it tends to curl up nicely like that. Sort of, I don't know, sorry if you guys can see that, but I find that they tend to curl nicely in the center like that. So I'll show you another one. So first I kind of go around the edges like that just to make sure they're nice and melted so they don't fray, and then I hit the middle and it curls in just like that. So again melt the edges ever so slightly. You don't want to do it too much because you don't want to lose the nice tattered kind of a design of the petal. And then you're going to want to hit the center. And the longer you hit it the more it curls. So that is the first flower. And you're going to do that with every single petal here. Okay, and for the small one, I just do it ever so slightly, not too much, but you want it to kind of curl a little bit. If you kind of hold it on an angle upward, it tends to want to curl inward instead of downward, but, and again, it might do its own thing. So that's what that one will look like. So I zoomed in a little bit here, guys, so you, well, not really zoom, I don't have a zoom, but I uh, put the tripod closer to the flower so you can see what I'm doing. So for the next part, you're going to need your hot glue gun. Okay guys, so you're going to take um, your four of your petals, keep one aside, and flip them so the shiny part is down. I'm just going to keep this one aside as well. So just put those aside and just keep flip these ones downward. And now we're going to fold it in half, but you want to make sure it's off-centered like that, okay? You don't want to have them lined up like this. You want it off-centered so the petals go in between the ones in the back. 
and we're going to glue it that way. So just be careful with the hot glue because it does get hot through the material when you're pressing this down. You don't want to burn yourself, as I've done many times. And then we're going to fold it again this way in half. And this one you can do directly in half if you want, or you can off-center it a little bit, but it doesn't really make a difference. I just do it right in half. So just some hot glue here. And in half. And so what you're going to get is sort of a little triangle of petals like that. Okay, so you're going to do that with all of these. I'll do another one here. So remember, shiny part down. This is where you want to be applying the glue, okay? It's on the non-shiny part, if that makes sense. Sorry. So remember, off-centered. Like that. And then again, fold in half. Like that. So you're going to want four of these, okay you guys? Okay, so when you've got your four pieces here, we're going to glue it onto uh, your felt circle. So what I do is I just take this and just, sorry my hot glue gun, I have to invest in a better hot glue gun. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit on there and place it onto your felt piece. And then your next one. Right next to the one that you've just glued on. Nice and close. Try to want to avoid gaps. I just hold it down there for a second. And the same thing with the others. Now what I do is I take a look at it to see if there's any major gaps. And if there is, I just reinforce it with a little bit of glue. Try not to use too much because you don't want it gaping through the little cracks. Just a little bit. And then just sort of hold it together like that until it sets. So then you're going to get what looks like this, okay? So now what I like to do is take my other flower and I like to sort of place it in such a way that, see how there's maybe a little bit of a gap there? So I like to place it in such a way that sort of fills that in with the petal of the bottom flower, okay? So however you want to position it, that's just my little way of doing it to kind of make it look a little fuller. So I'm just going to make sure your shiny side's up, because that's the part that's going to be showing the most. Now to cover up this, I like to just put this part in there. So I just put some more glue on there, have the shiny side up again, because that's what's showing. If you're using satin, that is. And then whatever center you've chosen, glue that on. Now what I did was I actually put another felt piece at the back um, just because of this one anyway. So if you want you can do that. Sorry, I'm just going to grab another one because I do like that because if you're adhering it, whatever you're going to put it on to, sometimes the felt, I, t I think anyway, um, sticks a lot better. Like it, it glues a lot better to things, especially if it's other fabrics or whatever. So I mean you can choose to leave it like this with the backing just like that, but I like to put that little bit of um, felt piece back there just for a finishing touch. That's just me. You can do whatever you want.
So there you guys go. So that is another flower. I have so much fun making these, you guys. It's just, you can play with colors, you can do multi-tones, you can just do whatever fabric. It's just so much fun to play with. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope it won't take me as long to come up with the next one, but please be patient. I am very busy and I will definitely try to get some more tutorials on stuff I've made and some more flowers. So hang in there guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.